Hello everyone, welcome back to this game. When we last left off, I was doing some casual exploration, which is pretty nice. Been a bit since I've been able to do some casual exploration. I mean, I was able to explore a few optional dungeons back in Snowtop, but... Mm, those places were kind of rough. Now that I'm in an earlier place, it's a lot easier. Presumably. There is a quest waiting for me in here. And it's probably going to be difficult considering the previous one involved fighting those Gaipon birds. So, let's see what this is about. Ah, there you are. Are you ready for your big job? Yes. Great. North of here is a grove with some kind of ruined mansion. Your target? If you can believe it, a ghost. Now, I have no idea how you're going to kill it, or even how to make it appear, but since you've managed to kill one of those bird things, I reckon you can do the impossible again. Kill this ghost, bring back its necklace, and come back to me for a 15,000 gold reward. Sounds good, doesn't it? Uh, shouldn't be too difficult. Come to pay your respects to the winged prophet trav the Come to pay your respects to the winged prophet traveler. Why all the statues? They are supposed depictions of the winged prophet. Eh. I I think there were a few artistic liberties taken. We all have one in our homes to reverse the. Or revere the passing. Alright. Who is the winged prophet, as if I didn't know? The title befitting Liquia Scribe Salvatore. According to legend, this prophet had the wings of an angel, a fallen angel, flying in the skies to cast down all those who would blasphemy. It's a shame this is no longer the case. Otherwise, those heathens south of here would be smited for their cultist worship of the Grey. Yeah, what's up with that, anyway? Why did Sa Sally abandon everybody? Was she like, oh, I'm going to encourage the end of the world, but I don't want to ruin my personal image? It's a shame I can't tell them that, hey, Sally is still around, and she wants to end the world. I'd love to see how they would react to that. Is this where I think it is? This is totally where I think this is. This is where Arthur used to live. As, AKA Arkan. So that would explain how Sally and Arkan's mom got together. Not 100% sure what the sickness was about, whether it was a real sickness or if Sally managed to cure it in exchange for splitting Arkan's mom into two people. Well, it makes me wonder who the ghost might be. Well, apparently, this place is overgrown and we're no longer able to go up to that cliff. Oh, and then there's one of these things here, of course. Alright, let me go ahead and write this down. There's so many of these, too. Alright, well, at least this one's simple to write down. At Arkan's old home. You know, considering the circular indentation, I'm kind of wondering if these things are related to the teleport orb things. Maybe not, though, because I think actually those have to do with the stone tables. 
of which we have not seen very many of those game of those in this game Or Gaia says Gwina, the mother, was used as a guinea pig to travel into Dark Isle. Extended stay in Dark Isle caused the sickness that would have killed Gwina, but Cardigan came in and split her before her death. Salvatore Cardigan, aka Sally. Don't you just love Elias's? Boy, if Karen knew that we were in this place. The door is beyond repair. Just the one half. Alright, well, now we know why she was all sick. Was that explained in the game? door is broken, but not on this side. Argaya says, yeah, it was shown in the flash sequence, and then explained by Cardigan immediately after the Ara Spring. Oh, yeah! I saw Gwina and Sally at that tombstone that Perrin appeared at. I assumed that they were trying to trigger Perrin's appearance or something. I didn't know that that was Sally sending Gwina into Dark Isle. See, it's really good to have the game creator around to explain these things. Because there's a whole lot of uncertainty with some of this stuff. Not to mention lots to take in. Alright, so there's a puzzle here. This is something I can do right now. It's just a question of what am I looking for that is failing to stand out. It's not the mirror. Interesting that the bed is still here, but interacting with it doesn't seem to do anything. Can't seem to fall down the hole. Can I blow stuff up? How many bombs do I have? 52. I got plenty to experiment with. So apparently, whatever I'm looking for is meant to be a bit obscure. Well, first question. Does it evolve bombs? No bombs. Because the only thing I can think to do is to just run around the wall until I, like, pass through a secret passage or something. So we're looking for a ghost of some sort, and we're trying to make it appear. I don't know that I ha necessarily have anything that would make it appear. Man. Imagine if... Where is the name in my notes? Where is the name in my notes? Queen Zarnaya was aware that 
the murder of her mother, the blame of the sickness, it was Sally's fault. And she's been working with Sally this entire time. I wonder if I'll get the opportunity to tell her that. Okay, I need a hint. Are you there for hinting? Because I need a hint. We've been at this for a while. The goal of this quest is to commune with the dead. When was the last time you did something like that? Oh. Well, I gotta admit, that is clever. The bummer is I'm gonna have to do some editing so that people at YouTube aren't gonna be sitting watching me aimless wander the whole time. It is kind of obscure, though, because it has been such a long time since I've actually had to use this thing. Although, admittedly, I could have come here to do this not long after. Then again, the first quest involved me killing those Gaipon. So, yeah, I wouldn't have been able to take on this quest for quite a while. Anyway, so... The coward is sending someone else to do it now, is he? He must have offered you a lot for you to take this kind of job. Especially since he must have searched far and wide for someone able to actually communicate with me. Who are you? I have no name now. I refer to myself as what the swordsman called me. The visage. He gave me this ability so I can hide. Swordsman? The orange-haired warrior. He told me he could make me hide from the one who would bring me harm. The one that likely brought you to me. Okay, this is one of those situations where neither of these is correct for me. Because I don't remember who Quarter is, and I don't want to attack you. So I'm going to make up a name. Uh, you're referring to... Com... 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 Quarter. Yeah, let's go with that. Would you do it? Would you kill me for a profit? End this eternal feud? Why does he want you dead? Apparently, Quarter is the bald guy who gave me this quest. At what point did I learn his name? Oh. Apparently, if I had asked who he was, instead of going straight to what is your quest, I would have found out his name. Well, there we go. Anyway, because he killed his wife, because he killed his son, because he wants to kill his daughter, me. My father is a descendant of a follower of the Winged Prophet. He wants to cut all ties he has with such a being, so that he may be completely free. Okay, I need to give this a moment to sink in. Father is a descendant of a follower of a winged prophet. Descended from someone who followed Sally. Boy, Sally's been around a while then, hasn't she?
Him being a hunter is merely a facade. He is old. He can't keep up with me anymore. You are a perfect candidate. With me gone, the last vest vestige of his lineage, he no longer has to identify with anyone but himself. If this is how it is meant to end, then so be it. I am tired of running. I too wish to be free. Man, this game is giving me some dumb options sometimes. Why can't we, we just be all... First off, why is he wanting to sever these ties? Why should I kill either of you? Well, I don't feel like attacking you, so I'm going to lie and say I'll kill Quarter instead. If you do, I will be indebted to you, and I still won't have my freedom. But, I won't stop you. Perhaps he will kill you instead and send someone else. Farewell. Oh, great. I was kind of hoping that you weren't actually here. I was totally going to just sneak off and not do anything else with this quest, because screw this quest. I don't know anything, and I don't have to do anything if I don't know anything. Except I do, because you're here. Well, maybe I can get some information and hopefully change the course of this quest. And there he is. So... Got anything for me? Um... Hmm, she wasn't home or you're evil. Oh, I just noticed that you brought soldiers with you. Why the heck did you bring soldiers with you? You know what? She wasn't home. She, huh? Don't think I ever mentioned the target's gender. Heh. <laughs> that means exactly what I think it does. At this stage, I don't care what you think of me. You've confirmed that she's here, therefore I just have to send this building to hell. It's definitely the more costly option. Whatever opinion you have of me, I will pay anything to be free of this accursed existence I've been forced into. You have no idea what it's like to have that creature, that winged demon's voice inside your head for your entire life. I needed it gone. And I won't have you get in my way. You. Finally. You think killing me will set you free? Getting rid of those related to you won't do a single thing to change whatever curse you're under. You're just feeding your own insanity at this point. Stupid girl. If you were half as smart, you'd be doing the same thing to get rid of your own voice. That's just it, father. I don't have any voices in my head. Neither did mother, neither did my brother. Liar. You screw all of you so much. Hold on a sec. There, you're alive. Oh, 
Finally. At least one of us. I know what I said earlier contradicts what I was forced to do. At least in a certain way. The way I prefer to look at it is that I helped you do this. And in doing so, I am no longer bound by oath to you. But I will thank you. I am glad to have another friend. Maybe, maybe in the future we will see each other again. At least I hope so. Well, you know, as long as the world doesn't end, sure. Alright, well, all things considered, I am okay with how that ended. Now, at least I didn't just outright go and kill the guy. He attacked us. And I defended myself. Now, where do you have that 15,000 gold lying around? Eh, probably had it on him. Oh, well. Well, I found the things that I came out here for. I'll just go ahead and buy a few more potions. Because I can. One more of these. That'll do. Alright, what's next on my to-do list? Well, since I've done... Oh, yep, these guys definitely respawn. Well, I have no reason to kill any more of you, so I'm just going to ignore you. Man, I still want to hug them. And I've done this place. I guess the only thing other than that on my to-do list before continuing the plot is to head back to that one place to get these Kithian blooms turned into more potions. And I know this isn't the direction to go for that. I'm just a little curious. Nope. We can't use that to board the boat. So in that case, let's just go ahead and get these Kithian Blooms taken care of. After that, I wonder if we're supposed to go in a specific entrance back into Ring. That's still not open. Come to think of it, there's that chest that was back in the peninsula. Still have no idea how to open it. I assumed it was something to do with these keys, but it never actually mentioned any keys. Whereas we found a chest that did, so maybe it doesn't. I have indeed told Aglysius that you said hello. So, this is going to increase the amount that my regen happens. Would probably help if I was somewhere where it was more apparent, maybe. By the way, it was pointed out to me that whenever I have this cloak equipped, the heal takes 2 MP instead of 1. Because of its ability to revive somebody. Alright. So where is the compass going to point me? Interesting. We're actually heading back to Hyola Town. 
I thought we would be totally heading back into ring. I wonder if we're able to. Now let me see if I can even find the entrance to it. I know there is an entrance in this general direction. Who knows, maybe I'll find some new place to explore. Ah, oh, here we are. Oh, we can just waltz right into this place. I don't know that this is necessarily something that would do us any good. Mm. Well, at the very least, I know there's no quest waiting to be finished in this place, so... Let's just go ahead and start making our way towards Hyola Town. Oh, and I found my way back to this town. Well, now I get to see what happens if we come out of this exit. And that's what happens. Um... This is foreboding. So how about we go on an episode break now? That sound good to you? Sounds good to me.